So welcome back. Today we're talking about links in Apple Notes. This is episode three of this Apple Notes Masterclass. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when new episodes are released. Now, let's get into it. We're talking about links and I've covered this on a few occasions on my channel already because they are extremely powerful. But broadly speaking, there are three types of links that you can add to your Apple Notes. External links, internal links and app links. Uh, just as an overview, external links are the typical links you will have to uh, URLs and web pages. Internal links point to other notes in Apple Notes, and that's a great addition from iOS 17. And then app links are sort of special links to specific apps that can do something additional into Apple Notes. And I'm going to demonstrate this later on. Let's get started from the very basic, external links. These are probably the easiest to understand because we are very used to hyperlinks on web pages. So I'm going to showcase links using the note that we formatted in the last episode, which is this one about uh, chemistry, atomic structure, periodic table, and so on. The first type of links we're going to add are external links. Um, there is, for example, here this word that we highlighted in the previous episode about compounds. And of course, there are lots of things you could say about compounds um, that maybe don't fit specifically this note. So we can have an external link for additional information. And on this side, I've got Safari opened on a Wikipedia article, which is specific about compounds. And I can copy the link to this um, page into this note. To do so, I'm going to select here the link to this page. I'm going to copy it. And then I can go back to my note, highlight the word or maybe the sentence that I want to link, and I can right click and choose add link. Now, if you're doing this on iPhone and iPads, the procedure is the same. You highlight the text and you tap on it until you display the add link option. And after that, it's basically the same. Notice that on Mac, there is also the a very convenient shortcut command K, which I'm sure you're going to use very often. So add link. And then this little window will give you the possibility to paste the link and potentially modify the text. I mean, I don't need to do it, or maybe if I wanted, I could uh, insert a little arrow that shows that this is now a link. And when I click OK, first of all, the text has changed, and second, it is now clickable. And if I click on it, you will open this page. Now, let me undo this thing and I'm going to show you how you can improve your workflow by using shortcuts because everything we did so far can be achieved using key uh, combinations on the Mac. So I'm going to remove this link here. And by the way, to remove a link or edit a link, you right click on it and then you choose edit, remove and everything else. So I'm going to remove this link. I'm also going to remove the arrow. And now I'm going to do this. I'm going to replicate everything I did. And actually, I'm going to time it <laughs> So, because I'm, I'm curious to see how quickly it can be done. So I'm going to highlight this word here. I'm going to click on Safari. And now I'm going to start my keyboard uh, combinations. So it will be Command L to select the link, Command C to copy it, Command Tab to switch back to Apple Notes, and then Command K to open the Add Link window and Command V to paste it, and then I can click on Return. So let me undo this, and let's try and see how quickly I can do it with my keyboard. So not, not bad, it's just over a second, so I'm, I'm sure that with a bit of practice it can <laughs> be brought to under a second, but there is no need for that. It's not a speed race. It's just to demonstrate that some things can be done much more quickly if you know how to uh, use the shortcuts. Now let's move on to internal links. Um, something that I really love because internal links released in iOS 17 have transformed Apple Notes from a simple repository of information to um, more of a system that you can use for creative endeavors. The ability to link one note to several notes means that on any day, you can start from a note and then follow a completely different train of thought, ending up in places that you didn't imagine and hopefully coming up with new ideas. Now, there are a couple of ways to create internal links. One is very similar to the one that we've just seen. So using this note again as, a, as an example, you can see that down here there is a reference to Niels Bohr, and I have on my in my Apple Notes a bio for Niels Bohr, a specific note about him, which is this one. So the best thing to do for me at this point could be to link from the, this name to his own uh, bio. 
And to do this, I highlight the text, I right click, add link, or maybe Command K, and it's the same window that we saw before. Just in this case, I start typing the first letters uh, of the notes title. And as you can see, Apple Notes is giving me a couple of notes that contain those letters. This is the note that we're looking at, and this one is the bio that I was referring to. So now, if I click on it, I can link to this note. Um, again, I've got the possibility to choose a different name for this note, or maybe to use the note's title. In this case, it doesn't really make any practical uh, difference, so I'm going to click OK. And now, this note is linked to the bio, and if I was reading this note and I wanted to go in that direction, discovering more about this guy, I could click on it, and that note about Niels Bohr will be opened. Now, a couple of things that I wanted to mention here. The first one, just uh, for information, the colors of links in Apple Notes is determined by the accent color set on the system. So if you were to open your settings and change your accent color to pink or blue or any other color, then your links will take that color and also your tags in Apple Notes. The second thing, which is more important, is a bit of a frustration that I have with Apple Notes because there is absolutely no navigational uh, support for links. So from this page, if I wanted to go back to my previous page, there'll be no way to achieve that. So I can either insert my backlinks manually to go back to my previous note, or I could try, because it doesn't always succeed, to use this menu here, view recent notes and previous notes. And notice that there is also a shortcut for this. And if I clicked on this, in this case, I would go back to my previous notes, but it doesn't always happen. Uh, sometimes it simply breaks. So be mindful of that if you're navigating, if you want to explore specific directions and train of thought, that you may not be able to backtrace to where you started. Another reason why you may want to use internal links could be to streamline existing notes. For example, this one is a very long note. On occasions, it could be better to move parts of the note to specific pages to avoid cluttering your note. So we're going to use this potential scenario to showcase the greater than shortcut, which is great. So let's say I want to move this bit, this model for sodium, to its own note. How do I do that? I can cut this bit of text by using Command X. So at this point, uh, the content has been copied in the clipboard and I can create a new note and paste that content to the new note and then link to this new note from here, from this note. And I can do the two steps in one single step using the greater than shortcut, which is a great little shortcut you can use in Apple Notes across devices. You type two greater than signs and as you can see, Apple Notes is already providing me with a potential list of notes, most recent notes, that I may want to link to. In this case, though, I'm going to create a new uh, note by just typing the title. Um, sodium model. And um, as you can see, there is an option here to create a note called sodium model. And when I click on it, that note has just been created. I can then click on this. I will land on my new note, and I can simply paste the stuff that I cut from the previous note. At this point, I can expand this note, I can add more uh, detail if I wanted, and it becomes a self-contained note. I'm going to go back to my previous note, let's see if that works, recent previous note, and now I have a link to my sodium model. And by the way, I can change the text and make modifications by selecting this link, right-clicking and choosing to edit the link. In this case, I can, um, instead of using the notes title, I can type something that may be more in tune with the, the overall content of my page. Of course, I can then format this text, maybe move it um, across the page using the tab and, and so on. So I can make modifications, but this is now a link which I've created on the fly to a different note. And the last thing that I was going to mention was the links to specific apps. As you can see in Apple Notes, there is this little icon here that can link, that can provide you uh, with links to specific types of content. Now, it is difficult to know what sort of content you can link to. I know for certain that you can link to books and you can link to uh, web pages, but there are more um, apps that you can link and that what I've seen is that that depends also on the device you're on. For example, on the Mac, you cannot link to uh, pages or numbers or a keynote, but for some reason, you can do that on an iPad. So you need to experiment with it. 
But at, at its core, this function works like this. So let's say I want to discover how to draw this thing and I could land on this page, which explains how to do it. So in this case, you know, this is useful information for me. And what I could do could be to create a link to this page by clicking on this button. And as you can see, the, the, the page that I'm on is here and I can add a link to this page. And when I do it, it basically acts as, as a bookmark. And I can take notes on this by saying, for example, uh, detailed info And now my page for the model also contains a link to a website that explains in more detail how I can create those drawings. Now there is a small difference here between a regular note like this one and a quick note. If I were to create a quick note um, for this type of content, which I cannot create using the, the double greater than sign uh, shortcut, but that quick note could actually be linked to specific bits of text on a page. So I've created a quick note here, and as you can see, I can drag the same link to this page, but I could also browse the page and maybe highlight bits of text that are important to me. And now I can right click and choose to add to a quick note. And when I do it, it will be added here as a, as a quote. Now the interesting bit is that if I close this page and I then click on this link, it will reopen the page that I was on and it will also highlight the text that I selected. So these are links in a nutshell. I hope you found it useful. See you at lesson four of this Apple Notes Masterclass.